Okay, first and foremost, just back at you with another quick hit. I'm here to edify the elect, and all praises and honors belong to Yahweh. By Sham Yahweh Shai, by Hasham Yahweh Kakwadash. Honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right, this lesson. It's going to be based on basically witchcraft and is the, the vain attempts, the things that people do, and monitoring. Listen, right? I was speaking to a family member, right? And the family member told me, you know what? Well, you're teaching the word, right? Well, you got to expect that people are going to want to know what you're doing. Now, you have people out of curiosity, sincere, sincere people. They just want to know. They just come up. They just want to know. They just intrigued but when you have a monitoring when i'm talking about a monitoring spirit i'm talking about a wicked evil demonic spirit right and i'm going to put the household up soon i haven't put no pictures up soon i don't really entertain it all that i don't really entertain but i'm doing this lesson because again all the prophets right they were watched right yahweh shai he was watched not just by the Pharisees. Literally, he had people everywhere wanting to know, what's he doing? He had an interest in life. Right? An interest in life. Now, the thing is, on this monitoring spirit, I'm talking about an evil monitoring spirit, because not everybody that watches you is evil. I'm talking about an evil. This lesson's out to the evil doers. Right? Why do they do it? How do they monitor? And we're going to go into them. Right? And these spirits, oh, they're going to get bound. They're going to get binded. Right? They're going to get but in the name of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. You blind, the, you blind these monitoring, evil monitoring spirits. Because no, you're teaching this truth. You have to expect people to watch you. But there's evil monitoring spirits. And there's this one family. I'm not going to, bro, I'm not going to give their names or anything. This is one family, demonic family. And this happens a lot in Nigeria. It happens all over the world. But it happens a lot in Nigeria, right? These are people, right, that see gifts, talents of an individual, right? And they're under these people are under demonic possession. Yes, demonic possession. And they want to cage. They want to cage one's talents. So a form of monitoring is witchcraft. That's a fact, right? Um, they need to follow because they want to know about your whereabouts so they can try to control. Right? Let's get into this, Baba Kishar. And Lord willing, it be edifying. I know I brought this out many times, but it doesn't matter because you may have someone that comes across this lesson that's never heard of this before. At 16, check this out. Right? And certain people, right, you give the benefit of the doubt. If you have a fa I'm talking about a family, right? That's a part of a cult. And they're watching you and they're monitoring you, right? And they're trying to cage they're trying to cage, which it doesn't work for the elect, but they're trying to cage you. You're gonna have to put a curse and pray over that particular thing that's coming at you. Alright? If you're going one place and you know it's but remember it's a it's a demonic spirit. There's no nothing wrong with watching someone. Because I watch brothers, but then there's a monitoring spirit. King David had to deal with him, right? From Saul, right? Saul sent messengers unto David to see what he, his whereabouts, what he was doing, right? We're going to go to the account of Acts 16, right? And 16. And it came to pass, as we went to a prayer, a certain damsel, right? Damsel was, when I looked it up, it's a young, right? Young lady, slave girl. It said slave girl, right? And this slave girl, well, she was a slave, right? She was a slave, right? Probably to probably to the Roman, yeah, to the Roman Empire. She was being used to do evil. Same thing happens today. You do know people get paid to monitor, right? Witches, they get paid to monitor. It's called an assignment, a demonic assignment. But you break that. Right, you break it, you bind it in the name of your and you stay calm, 
you don't panic, right? And you don't feed it as well, right? And it says, check this out. Possessed with the spirit of divination, possessed. So this shows you yeah, that's a form of possession, right? Divination. Type in the word divination. It came up with Python. Pythoness. Yes, these are these are um spirits, by the way. Pythoness, which goes into divination. So people that do divination is it's a python spirit. What does a python do? A python's a snake. So these are spirits of serpents that people conjure up. And what, what does a serpent do? Tries to strangle, choke, right? So these are people that try to choke, um, stop, block what you're doing. So people that do that, well, what do, what, what, how do you have to operate? You have to operate in the Holy Spirit. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, check this out. And... Right? Met us, which brought to our masters much gain by soothsaying. It said much gain. Much gain. Not some. Much gain. Right? So there was money to be made. Still today, this is still done. It's still done. Like I've said, I've, I have to, I don't want to call them neighbors. Right? I call them eavesdropping children of Belial, this woman, right? I'm not going to go too much into the, this woman. She brings her children there. She's always in and out of this house. I believe she's a trafficker. Personally, I believe she's a trafficker. Personally. Because a lot of them slave girls, guess what? We're trafficked. So, yep, yeah, this, this girl was trafficked, right? But she was a slave girl diviner. Right? Modern day slavery today is what trafficking. And her thing was divination. And she was getting paid to do it. Right? Which is basically... Summoning demons, right? Some people they have a mirror, right? They call it an evil mirror, which they look in and they can see certain things in the spiritual realm. Um, some call it crystal balls, right? Where they can look at a crystal ball and they might have your face and they're trying to predict this and that that. These are lying spirits. They could in other words, they're communicating with the devil, and the devil's lying to them. Okay. And it says, that's why I don't fret over these things. I don't panic. Okay. <laughs> Act 16. And 16. Do they know certain things? Yeah, certain things. But but they're being deceived. It's deceiving spirits. Okay. And which brought to our masters much gain by soothsaying. Soothsaying. Soothsaying is you trying to communicate with spirits of the dead. Where, where, was the, where was any of the apostles trying to communicate with spirits of the dead? They weren't doing that. Where was the Messiah doing that? He wasn't doing that. Right? And you got that today. Oh, do you want a reading? We do a reading. We tell you about your great granddad. And No. No. No, no them demons are telling the people, right, that are dealing with these spirits. They're telling them certain things. But guess what? They're telling them lies. That's the only thing. And because the devil, he does know certain things. He sees you in the spiritual realm. So that's what they're doing. They're getting told things by what? Demons. Oh, that's your great, great grandmother. Right? That's your great, that's your great grandmother. That's not your great grandmother. That's the demonic spirit you're talking to. It's not your great grandmother. And therefore, when you do that, you're opening, um, you're opening up portals for the devil to have information upon your life. Right? That's why we're not supposed to be seeking soothsayers. We're not supposed to be soothsaying. Because when you're soothsaying, what are you doing? When you're soothsaying, you're communicating with spirits of the dead. And we're not supposed to be doing that. We're supposed to be communicating with Yahweh Shai. And I want to go to um, Isaiah as well. Right? And it says, the same for the poor and us and cried saying. Right? So they, she was following... Right? See, I want to slow this down. It says, followed us. Okay? Followed us. Followed who? Who? Paul. Right? Paul. Right? Bear me just a minute. I'm looking for something else. Isaiah. 
All we have to do is just bring out these scriptures and everything else gets sorted. Everything else. Right? You got people that... You, you actually got people, right? They think they could cage... Oh, let me try to cage him. No. Doesn't work. Right? Let me see if I could cage these talents. And, uh, no. Because if that was the case, then I wouldn't be here. Te I wouldn't be at this spot teaching right now. It's rubbish. What they present, I'll keep telling you, what they're doing, presenting before you, is rubbish. Bear me just a minute. Alright? 8 and 12. So, okay, I'm just looking for something. 8, where is it? Isaiah? Where it talks about seek not wizards. Let me just pause this while I'm looking for it. Come on, I found it. Come on, come on, come on. This is Acts 16. And where was I, where was I? Verse 17. The same followed Paul. And us, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Heavenly Father, the Most High, the Heavenly Father. Yeah, so she knew, right? Because yeah, well, the, the demons fear and trembled. The, the, the demons know who the men of the Lord are. So she knew, right? Oh, we say, yeah, do witches have certain, um, yeah, they have supernatural ability. But what they don't tell you is who, who are they connecting with? The devil. The devil tells them stuff. These are known as lying spirits, by the way. Lying spirits. Okay. And it says, Acts 16. Right? And 17. Which show us the way of salvation. And missed did she many days, but Paul being grieved, turned and said, To the spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahavashai, Mashiach, to come out of her. And he came out that same hour. Right? The same hour. Okay. And when our master saw the hope of their gains was gone. Right? So, let me slow down. Right? Let me slow this down. It says, This did she many days, so she became a hindrance. These monitoring spirits, they're like, they're like little hindrances within your walk. It doesn't mean you're not gonna be. It doesn't mean you're not gonna be saved. If you're of the deck, you're, you're still gonna be saved. But these are just like mischievous, hindrance spirits, right? You go somewhere, then you realize, hold on a minute. These individuals, they're where I am. They wanna follow you. They're hindering spirits. They're wicked, monitoring, evil spirits. Okay. And yes, you can bind them, because the scripture says, whatever you bind on earth, is bound in heaven. So you bind them spirits, which we can do a, a, a prayer after this lesson, All right? And it says, being grieved. So she was doing this many days, but Paul being grieved turned, okay, turned. So in other words, excuse my language, Paul got pissed off. Paul got pissed off. What's this woman want? What is, what is this diviner want? Because even witches, I've got to say this, a lot of witches, I've come across a lot of witches, they're very intrigued by what we're doing. They're very intrigued. So, this diviner was intrigued by the spirit of Paul and Silas. Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha, and turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, to come out of her. And he came out that same hour. So he commanded that spirit. He commanded it. See, this is what you got to do. you got to command the spirit. If you're commanding it, that spirit has no power over it because you're commanding it. It's not commanding you. Now, the monitoring spirit is designed to watch you, monitor what you're doing so it could try to control or take credit because a lot of people try to do that as well. They want to take credit for your gifts. Right? Where was you when I was blue? Hmm? They can't take no credit. Right? So these are what these spirits do. Right? Okay. That's their whole job. Okay. Got this guy walking up my way wearing dark shades. Yeah, they're witches, they're warlocks, man. Right? I don't even give them my energy. Right? What is? Let me just a minute. And it says, Baba Kisha. And she did many days. Paul being grieved, turned and sent to spirit. I command you in the name of you. Come out of her. And she came at that hour. So them spirits, they come out. Right? That's what they do. Right? Them spirits come out. Okay? And we command him too. Right? 
And when our master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, so by divining, once you prophesy upon these diviners, their gains are gone. So that's what we're doing. We're putting them out of business. These diviners. So you also, not just the churches. Oh yeah, the churches, the pastors, they divine to you. Right? The churches, they're diviners. So that's why your pastors, they're losing a lot of money. Right? Divining is spells as well. Enchantments, spells, um, sorcery. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And... Drew them into the marketplace. So the masters, they were angry. Right? And drew them into the marketplace. So when you have monitoring spirits that want to monitor what we're doing, what do we do? We command that spirit and we bind it upon earth first. Then we bind it in heaven. Yes, sir. That's what we got to do. Because there's a lot of monitoring spirits out here that are monitoring our progress. And we are progressing. So we bind it in the name of Yahweh, by Sham, Yahweh Shai, Fahasham, Waha, Vaka, Quadash, Yahweh Shai. Cut these spirits off. Don't give them any access, Yahweh Shai. Please cut off all their axes. Cut off their axes, Baba Kishra. Blind them, you know, plague them, put them to confusion. Just as I was saying this as well, some, someone walked past me with that same spirit. You see? This is this is spiritual. And I want to say this as well. Witches don't monitor someone that's of low, low potential. And as I'm saying that right now, what do I see? I see crows. I see about six crows. See, this is all spiritual. Oh yeah, they do use birds as well. They use birds. <laughs> right, they use birds. Right? So... You're not monitored because of you're of low value, okay? You're monitored because even a witch can see you're of high value. Even to the kingdom of darkness, which we don't serve the kingdom of darkness, but you're of high value. High value. And when you wake up to this truth, you cannot be controlled by darkness anymore. You're not controlled by it, right? So therefore, you become a threat, okay? You become a threat, right? But... Their masters were mad because now the gains were gone. So the more you teach this word, the more them gains, they lose their gains. Right? They lose their gains. Okay? And yes, they use birds to operate. Now let's go to Isaiah. Speaking of birds, Isaiah 9. Right? And 19. Right? And when they say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits, the monitoring spirit, it, it falls hand in hand with a familiar spirit, right? They try to get familiar. They need to be around you. Familiar. Remember, remember these spirits, they study you. They study. They study patterns. That's why some people, right? Some of these people, right? You see them looking at their watches. Right? See what time you came in. See what time you come out. Some people, they have the evil mirror. Right? Because they're seeing what time you come in, what time you come out. These are all signs of witchcraft. Right? Which we're not supposed to be scared of because Yahweh is over there. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits. Familiar spirit is known as a household spirit as well. It could also, they, um, they could also gain access by family members that have doors open. Right? So if a witch can't get to you, they try to get to people around you. That's why you need to pray over the people that are around you as well. Right? Because that's what they try to do. Right? And the familiar spirit also is, um, what else? Obia. Right? People that do with obia and just dark arts. Right? And these are, these can be aggressive, um, aggressive spirits, by the way. Yeah, it's a familiar spirit. It's, it's an evil spirit. Most of your musicians have got them. Most of your entertainers have got them. Most of your um your sky um what's it your sky broadcasters have got them. Most of your newscasters it's it's a it's a familiar spirit, right? That's 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 their power that they have. So do they yeah they know certain things, right? Because it's, it's familiar with you. You know when you were serving the kingdom of darkness, right? You know when you were in darkness doing all types of sin. Them spirits were familiar with those patterns. So it gets familiar with patterns of wickedness. You see? Right? And it says Baba Kisha. Right? And unto wizards, and they use birds as well. Right? Wizards. So you have wizards out here as well. That peep 
You know what peep means? To look, to spy. All right? You know when someone's doing, you know, you, know, you can tell when someone's doing judge, their eyes go big. <laughs> their eyes go big. Right? <laughs> Maybe just a minute. That eyes blow up. So, that peep. So, what's peeping? Looking, sneaking. Right? These people, they like to um, look out of their blinds. Is he leaving? Yeah, bro. It's an it's a, it's a, it's a obsession spirit, it's a demonic spirit. And to wizards that peep. And now because there's technology, right? We have technology. These um, these witches now, there's something called techno, techno witchcraft. So now they're using technology, where a witch now, they could try to gain access to your house through technology, because these devices, is what? It's another what? Way to communicate with you, through devices. You know, television is another portal, so people can connect with you through a portal, television. Right? Okay. And it says Baba Kishar. And that peep and mutter. And they also, mutter is, what's it, whisper, utter, um, from ventriloquists. Right? And these are people that communicate with animals. Right? I had some idiots communicating with animals around my way. Go, woof, 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 woof. Right? Well, bro, bro these, are, these are wicked spirits. These are witches. These are warlocks. Right? They communicate with spirits. Okay? But this is what you're going to find out about the Kingdom of Darkness. This is how the Kingdom of Darkness operates. Right? But we're not supposed to be scared of that because we have the authority over these spirits to leave, to get out, move yourself. Right? But the thing is, they are stubborn. That's the only thing. These spirits are stubborn. A monitoring spirit, it doesn't just go away overnight. A monitoring spirit is it's a stubborn spirit. That's why you're gonna to need to pray and you're gonna to need to fast. Because the scripture says only certain certain demons can leave you. Only certain demons. And the only way these demons and entities can leave you is through faster and prayer. So we need to pray and we need to fast. That's how you what get rid of what demons and what? Your flesh is more what more, more your spirit is more strengthened. That's how you strengthen your spirit. Fasting, prayer. Yahweh said that to his disciples. How could we not cast out this demon? Why? Because you wasn't practicing fasting. And what? Prayer. Okay. So that's what you need to do. Practice those things. Okay. And I know they think, <laughs> I know they think, well, what's he talking about? No, I'm talking the truth. I'm talking the scriptures. Right? You got these wizards and warlocks that are sent our way. Oi, Yahweh is in control of everything. Just remember that. And it says, Should not a people seek unto their power from the living to the dead? Right? So you have those that are seeking the living, which would be the elect. And you have those that are seeking where well, what? The spirit of the dead. Which we're not supposed to be doing. Right? So they're already, they're already on the decline. Right? We're on the up. And to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. So if they're not speaking according to the words of Yahweh, it's because there's no light in them. So, yeah, this is how the kingdom of darkness operates through, which as sorcery and, you know, monitoring spirits, right? They need information. You wonder why people are sent your way to ask you questions and because they need information to report back to their handlers. Just like that woman with the spirit of divination. But what are they going to say? Um, well, he was, he's doing videos again. Um, he's in the house. He's eating, um, he's eating eggs and he's eating um, chicken. Uh, he just sat down um, uh, next day. What's he doing? Um, he's doing videos again. Um, he's eating eggs again and chicken um, next day. What's he doing? Um, he's do bro, it's these people, bro, it's digressive what they're doing. It's not progressive, it's digressive. While we're growing, they have to follow us. That's why we have the power, not them. Right? But if you give into their to their hocus pocus, they they have you believing they have the power. They don't. Right? And Lord when I did say I was gonna do a lesson as well. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but when I'm riding or whatever, when I'm traveling, I wanna pan the phone and I wanna show you how these people operate. What they have is a device, right? And some of them have what? What's it? The headless? What's it? 
what do they call it the thingy um headsets right the wireless headsets yeah it's a wireless headset right it's a white wireless headset some of them have their headphones and they commun communicate to each other um he's leaving now um would you stand here uh would you stand over there um would you get in the car um that's all they're doing right that's all they're doing bro they're, they're not all knowing that's all they're doing you do gotta understand bro it's manip it's manipulation and they want you to buy into it all right i don't buy into that when i see that i'm like oh man that's how that's why you got a fair yahawa shy right that's why you got a fair him that's who it is it's nobody i'm gonna do it. one day i'm gonna do a video right when i'm riding about and i'm gonna show you these characters and what they do where they're standing what they do it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, get, it's a game to them, but it's not a game to Yahweh Shai because Yahweh is going to put their silly ass to death real soon. You monitor in the prophets, but the prophets, yeah, they have to be monitored because we have a message, right? And our message is of salvation, right? But they have to do that. And a lot of them have to do it because they made deals with the enemy as well. Now they have familiar spirits that are using their vessel, okay, to watch us. And some of them, they try to get you to join as well, join them. But if you join them, you're just going to be doing the same thing. I've pretty much seen it, what they do. It gets boring. I'm not in fear. I don't feel controlled by them. Because guess what? Guess who controls everything? Let's go see. This is why you got to read the scriptures. Guess who controls everything? Go to Isaiah and Proverbs. All right? Proverbs 21, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Jehovah Shai. That's his mind. And as the rivers of water, he turned it whatsoever he will. So all our minds, everything we do is orchestrated by Jehovah Shai. So if Jehovah Shai has you getting up, teaching this word, remaining faithful, that's a blessing, no matter where you go. Now they have you convinced, um, um, oh, he's going to that same spot. Um, yeah, we got him, we got him. Uh, yeah, but what what are we doing? We're teaching the words. You have to follow us, right? I keep telling you, perception. Yeah, perception is everything. Your perception is everything, because your perception shapes your reality. And that's what a witch and a warlock does. They try to mold. They try to mold and shape your reality. But that's why you have to be in the scriptures, daily, daily. Right, because your perception is it, your, it's everything. Because how you move, what you do is based on your perception of life, but your perception has to be for the scriptures, right? And that's why I'm, I'm bro, I'm, t I'm 10, bro, I'm 20 steps ahead of these people, 20 steps ahead of these people, right? I remember when I was <laughs> just a few tips and problems, we're gonna shut off to you. I remember as well when I'm. Um, I would go on public transport, right? And sometimes I would jump off the train and jump back on the same train. Jump off the train, <laughs> then jump on another train. And you see these people start panicking. You see, you, you see it, all right? And what, 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 you, what, what you got to understand, how this society works, right? What these people do is, is, there's an order to it. So when you do something that's, what's the words? Um, spontaneous, when you're, when you're spontaneous, right? They don't know what to do. I've seen it. A bit, bro, I've seen it. Where well, you mess them up. Oh, let me go this way. They all start panicking. Because they had it set up, right? That you're going to go one way. And yes, AI is involved in this as well. They have AI programs. They have maps, right? And they keep a map of where you're going. Right? And that's how they're able to be where you are. No, they're not psychics. Even though you do have psychics. But they're not psychic. Okay? It's technology. It's an app that they're using, okay? Because these people, really, they're dumbasses, okay? Dumbasses with crowns, narcissists, right? That want control, but they're, they're under control, okay? Oh, well, please, step out, quickly. Uh, get in a video, make sure you see, bro, it's rubbish. See, that's all based on a perception. And whether you accept that perception and take it on and be like, well, yeah, um, you know, uh, you know, um, they can see everything. I'm stuck. No, you're not stuck. You're free. Because Yahweh said you're free. John 8, 32. 
and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so if you have shall set you free well what is a mon what can a monitoring spirit do except from monitor mm. hope this was edifying until the next time shalom